to see how pushing those limits turned a long forgotten favorite, the Disneyland submarine voyage, into something very new and very exciting. Four years after Disneyland's opening in 1959, Walt did a submarine voyage that took guests underwater to the North Pole in conjunction with General Dynamics, who built the first atomic submarines in America. When the submarine attraction at Disneyland closed down, the Imagineers immediately started to figure out what kind of story can we put in here to bring the submarines back. It's such a classic attraction. And when the movie Finding Nemo came out, then we said, that's it. We've got our story, and the rest was history. Or Yellow Submarine and dive into the depths with Marlon and Dory to, you guessed it, Find Nemo. So we looked at this as a sequel to the film. We're not retelling the story of the film, but we're putting those beloved characters in an underwater environment. You get to look at them in water, in their natural environment. You're down there with them. And just like you would expect to have happen, Nemo goes off on a little adventure with a precious son, Squirt. Of course, Marlin thinks they're lost. And Dory's just trying to keep up with things. Even though these subs have gotten a fresh coat of yellow paint, they're actually green. We did a couple of things to the submarine voyage to make it more environmentally friendly. It was we took the original diesel submarines and we turned them into electric power. The other thing we did was we used little impregnated with colored glass beads and broadcast that onto the coral. That it's not going to fade, it won't need to be repainted all the time. It was all um, recycled glass, so it was environmentally friendly and it's beautiful, they just sparkled. This attraction really makes a splash with blending the latest in virtual technology and elements of the real world. You get to go to all these different places. You get to ride an East Australian current, and you get to you know go through a sunken ship, and you get to see jellyfish, and it's a pretty lengthy uh, experience. So by the time you uh, to get off the submarine, you feel like you've really explored many different places. It's very satisfying, and it really delivers in that way.